Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Um, now today I'm going to be talking a little bit like about compilation albums and like greatest hits um, albums. Like I've seen like this done like quite a bit like recently like in like the vinyl community like James Griffiths like has done like a few videos like Grebo69 like as well. Like on like this topic like I think like it's like great like because like often um, like there is like sort of like an albums sort of focus like sort of studio albums very focus. Um, like among people like in like the VC like I'm like guilty like often like myself like with like my album like reviews like what I do um, like and also like there's this is kind of like snobbery like what goes on like greatest hits collections like they're only for like casual fans like not serious like music fans it's not like here today gone tomorrow sort of people However, for me, like many of my favourite bands, like they were all about like the single, like the sort of like the two minute single, like could be like an art form and um, 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 like every bit like as much like as an album could be. But for me, like I'm also like attracted like to artists like who could like sustain like that level like of quality like across a whole album. So what I thought I would do in this video is show like how compilation albums like have helped to shape my like, music taste like over like the years. Like for me usually like greatest hits like is my introduction like to a band and like then and like then like if like I enjoy that like that will spur on like further discoveries. So yeah, I'm just going to um go through um there's about ten here like what I've like selected. Like in like for me like chronological order like when like I like um, heard like these al albums and like discovered these artists. So the first one like I would like to talk about like is like the Beatles like my first sort of like proper like music and um, like love of mine and um, like I have fond memories of like playing my dad's copy here like off the Blue album and um, like on like his like record player like downstairs like he also has this one the Red album like you notice like they're all sort of blue and red vinyl respectively and like it just so happened that like with like his record player like I say like electronic ones so there's like sort of like a sensor what like senses at the light and like if like, there's a record on it then like the needle like automatically automatically like goes to the start and like plays the record how however with the red one like it was so transparent like the vinyl of this that like the light sensor like wasn't picking up that there was like a record there so like, i never got to hear this one like until like a good like couple of years later like it was this one which was kind of like um like the first sort of beatles material what like, i really heard like what covers like sort of like the sergeant pepper era stuff like going into the white album like and like abbey road let it be stuff like further from that like I've got like sort of like fond memories of fond memories like as well like of like the inner gate vault here trying to spot like four Beatles like on like this like um on like this photo here. So yeah, this is like the first sort of like Beatles material like what I heard. Yeah, it's just it just like brings back like a lot of memories like looking um like at like the artwork to this album and like the track listing. So yeah, that would have been like about like 10, like 11 like, years ago now. Like also like around the same time, like, I got like into Paul McCartney's um, solo career, like partly through this album, All The Best, which like, again, like is also one that my dad had like on CD, like this is like his like copy of it here. Um, so yeah, basically just like a greatest hits collection, like off like his solo and like Wings hits, like up to this point, this was 1987. So yeah, this isn't like complete like by like today, standards for me there hasn't been like a great like Paul McCartney like compilation like pure McCartney that like, was a bit of like a mess like for me like some tracks like some like obvious tracks like left off that yeah like just a little bit like incomplete that but for me like this one like is still like quite special like these are like among like the first like solo and um, Paul McCartney songs like what like I got to know so yeah like um for like 1987 this was a pretty good pretty complete compilation and um, like however like all the like saying that like there were some like big hits like Missing Off here, like with a little lot, Good Night Tonight, and um, Uncle Albert's not on like the UK version, neither is Genius Farm. So yeah, some obvious ones missing from it, like unfortunately, but still a very, very good compilation though, nonetheless. So then I kind of spent like sort of like a good sort of like about two or three years really just listening to the Beatles and Paul McCartney until sort of like think about sort of um 2012, 2013 sort of time. Um 
that so happened to be like on like a train like train like with like my granddad like we were going like into Liverpool and like we were stopped at the train station with their train station that guy like he mentioned to me that like, this was like where like a guy called Paul Simon like wrote one of his songs Homeward Bound like had a heard off the song I had on and so like when we got back from Liverpool like he played me like the song um, on this album, which is um, Simon and Garfunkel 17 of the all time greatest recordings. And, like, yeah, this is the second track, like, on the album. After that, I loved the song, just kept listening to it, and, like, yeah, really, like, fell in love, like, um, like with, like, their music. Like, I believe, I think it was Grebo 69, like, who showed this album. And, like, yeah, this is, this is certainly for me, like, among, like, all of, like, the Simon and Garfunkel compilations, what are out there. This is definitely like my favourite. Um, 17 tracks I got here. Like it's certainly like a lot more like comprehensive than like the greatest hits were what came out. I think in 72. Now that one's like a lot more popular. Like whoever like that has like live stuff on it. Like yeah, like again, like it is a little bit like off like a mess for me. Like as a compilation. Whereas this one here, um, 17 great great songs. Um, like on here. Um, so yeah, that is Simon and Garfunkel. And then kind of like at like, the same sort of time as that, like my granddad also had this one, like which like he played for me, which was um, a Paul Simon solo compilation, Negotiations and Love Songs, like, which covers his solo career. So for me, like I got into sort of Paul Simon and Simon and Garfunkel, like at like, the same time, like it was kind of like this whole sort of like pool of music, like for me sort of like to delve into. Um, so yeah, like this is just like a drop in like, the ocean like off like his sort of like solo work. Like I was sort of, like I was first sort of like drawn to like the Graceland like material, like Graceland, like you can call me out of the boy in the bubble and like whatnot. But yeah, this is also just a really great like comprehensive like overview like of his solo work up until I think 1986, 1987, I think this one came out. And um, recently that like, this been like another Paul Simon compilation, I think called the Paul Simon collection or like something like that what has um solo songs and simon anger funkel songs like, like i would certainly like recommend like getting that like to new people like to paul simon because that's just like an entry point like into so many brilliant brilliant albums the next one um, came, I think, in sort of about 2013 sort of time. Like, my parents like were getting rid of like a lot of like their like old CDs. Like they gave me like a few that they thought that I would like. The one what probably made the biggest impression on me like at first was this one, which is um, Squeeze Single. So so yeah, like they selected like a few like which like I uh, um which like, they thought that I would like based on like my like of like the Beatles, ELO and Paul Simon, like that sort of thing. I listened to like a few off like off like the other ones, like I was a bit like lukewarm on them. And um, but this one really like appealed to me. Like it was really melodic, really like Beatlesque. Like I like nice vocals, like as well, like Glenn Tilbrook's voice I think is really, really lovely. Plus I was like actually like, familiar like with like a few of these songs. Like I definitely heard Take Me I'm Yours before and like um like attempted and like also like art the juncture just like familiar like um with these with these songs like through like thing like films tv shows like and um, radio and like whatnot but yeah this is a great great compilation like i've got like fun memories of like listening to this on like my ipod when we were in um, Menorca like for like a family holiday this is kind of like my album of choice like for like that holiday like the soundtrack to that so yeah that's um squeeze singles and um, a great great compilation 12 tracks all 12 tracks that's really, real great, great pop songs. Okay, so now one of the first albums which I got like when I um, first start, started buying records, like I believe I got this like at like, my first record fair, it's um, the Kinks um, 20 Golden Greats here. And yeah, for me, this has to be one of the greatest of like, um, well, greatest hits albums. Like the whole, I would certainly say the first side is flawless. Like, I mean, you've got like, you really got me on it. Um, all day and all of the night. Um, See My Friends, um, Sunny Afternoon, Dead in the Street, Waterloo Sunset. Just brilliant song after brilliant song. Um, side two, okay, okay, there's maybe a couple of like slightly lesser songs. Like on side two, like Susanna's Still Alive, Plastic Man. But like, then you've still got like Autumn Almanac, Days, Lola. So yeah, some brilliant songs like on here. 
the Kinks um, really like worn off like the greatest like 60s bands. Like for me, second only to like the Beatles, like as far as making like great singles like were concerned. A another one that I would like to mention now, which is like an example like um like off like an artist like where like I just started off like with a greatest hits compilation and like ended up having like a whole collections like worth like all off like the albums like on vinyl it's and um, tom petty and the heartbreakers here so yeah like i bought this one like i remember buying this like i bought this um just before like i went to see paul simon and sting live in concert would have been 2015 sort of time so like i bought this one and like a police and um, greatest hits compilation like just to get like a bit familiar like with some of sting songs like what he would be doing and um, but for me this is one what made like the greater like impression like i just found that like, this music like was so like uplifting like songs like american girl like, listen to a heart refugee they just sound so like euphoric it's um really real great and like again flawless album like um 19 songs like every song like on here like it is like a winner um so yeah real real great stuff like it, it really it really like made me wonder like as well like why tom petty's like not like more popular here because songs like american girl um, and like refugee and um, don't come around here no more like these weren't even uk chart hits like they're just sort of like forgotten songs like um generally but yeah um a great great compilation though like tom petty um and the heartbreak because greatest hits like recently got this one like on vinyl like it's been like reissued like as well so yeah definitely definitely like would like recommend this like i like, think i bought this one solely like on the fact that like he was in that like, the traveling wilburys like because of like the george harris and jeff link connection and um, so yeah this is a so yeah this is an, another great great one and um, tom petty greatest hits so now on which um graham um i think like talked about like in like his and um, like video like one of like one of two like of his ones the best of blondie here um so yeah for me blondie um were one of the great sort of like late 70s and um, like early 80s bands like as far as singles go they really couldn't be beaten like around this time and um, like so many fantastic songs like on here heart of glass um sunday girl um union city blue atomic yeah just endless hit like after endless hit like on here and like yeah, some of like the albums could be like a little bit like dodgy. Like for me, like only like and um, um, for me like only parallel lines like stands up like as like a whole album. But as far as the singles and like the hits go, they were really really fantastic. So now we're going like a bit further forward like in time now. I think um 2015 like mid 2015 um like I bought this album like after watching like a documentary. Like on like a band what like this guy was in and um, talk about Paul Weller and um, so yeah like I bought this one like after seeing like the about the young idea like documentary like, documentary which was on like television and um, so like, I bought this one like shortly after kind of because like it sort of like showcases like songs like from like his whole career like I liked having like a whole career like overview so yeah there's um there's twenty three tracks on the uh, um, sort of jam style cancel and solo songs. And like yeah, this is kind of like what got me like into Paul Weller. Like after this, like I bought like a jam compilation. Like then I got all of their albums, like a vinyl. Like started like collecting Star Council stuff, like a solo records. So yeah, for me this was like the entry point, like into all things and um, like Paul Weller. So, so yeah, for me like this is still like a comprehensive, like enough like playlist, like kind of just like touching on like his greatest hits. Like there's also like a four disc edition of this, which like I didn't get like in at the end. I could just thought, nah, like I won't like this guy like enough to want to get like a full disc set I'll, I'll just get like the one disc set disc set like for like the time being and like then like about like a year later like i had pretty much like everything like what you put out so yeah for me like this is like an example like of like just like one cd kind of starting like a whole like obsession like with like a band like all like artists like paul weller so earlier like i mentioned like, i got like a squeeze cd like from like my parents like the greatest hits they also gave me this one like i like and, and like out at the same time like it is um the very best of the smiths now like i never got around to listening to this one like i like the time like i'm not sure why like i think like i kind of just like got busy like with, got busy like with other things like and like put like these cds like to one side However, like we were, um, think driving down like to Manchester, like my grandparents' house, like and on like the radio, like on like Radio Two, like what like my parents listen to, like there's a feature like on like one of the shows called the Tracks of My Years, which is where like, I think like 
which is where like a like celebrity like all like whoever picks out some songs like some off like the favorite songs like one of them and picked and there is there is a light that never goes out that was the first like smith song like what like i heard and like i was just like blown away by it more like the music like on like first listen like i really like wasn't paying like attention to like what like morrissey i like, was singing like about like it just sounded like such like a good good song like really so like as soon as like, i got back to scotland like i remember that i had this cd here so like i burned it like to like my ipod and like just enjoyed like listening to it like going like to and from work like it was like very like evocative like music like for like a sort of like a dark like winter's morning like getting like the bus like into like work and that just like just like headphones in like listening to like these songs here like again like a real sort of like comprehensive like collection 23 tracks like a total here like however like i believe that like, this is like a completely like unauthorized one like i don't think like Morrissey and Mar get like any like money from this one here not sure why like my parents had this one like either because neither of them like particularly like the Smiths and um, so yeah like it's a funny one this year but yeah and um, a great great and um, like compilation though like nonetheless like the very best stuff the Smiths and now and um, the final one that I would um, just like to talk about quickly is this one here which is and um, changes by David Bowie now I have to admit um, that I could never really like listen to like to Bowie like before like he passed away like it was only like after like he died that like I thought that I would really ought to get into like some like of his music so like I bought like the nothing has changed compilation which is a kind of like a whole career like overview like whether like I was really just like drawn into like his 70s like output so like this is why I like I'm choosing this album because it really does focus on like that classic period like from Space Order E like in 1969 which goes through to Blue Jean from like 1984's tonight kind of just like um, focuses like on like his classic classic material and yeah this has some like really really nice artwork to it as well especially and um, like, like especially like the skatefold like image here um, yeah it's just it's just really good like great track listing like as well so yeah like if like you're gonna get like a Bowie compilation I would say make it this one okay so yeah I hope you have enjoyed like, that video like a little like look like into like some of like my personal favorite like compilations and like greatest hits albums and like also how they have kind of like been with me like throughout like my musical journey like per se like sort of like discovering like different art art and, and like different artists like all kind of stems like from um, like a couple of songs like and then like going out like buying like a greatest hits album like off like the whole career so yeah i hope you have enjoyed and i will see you all next time for the next video goodbye